Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrappin' 2. Today I'll be making a card for the Alleyway Stamps Design Team call. And um, you can submit uh, up to three, and this is going to be my third one. I already submitted two. I think this is a great opportunity to work for um, this great company because I love, love their stamps. And um, so I already uh, put in two, like I said. One was the one I made a shaker card for the, um, the last challenge that they had. And uh, this is another one that I submitted. Uh, this is using the Lawn Fawn stamps, but I wanted to show the reflection uh, technique. And uh, that also took very long, so I didn't make a video for that. And here I have some um, images that I stamped using Deep in the Woods. And I already cut it out using my Scan and Cut. Um, that's why sometimes you don't see me uh, stamp things out because I like to stamp um, as much as possible all in one paper and all different images. And then I like to just cut it out um, all at once. And so I just keep it in uh, little uh, baggies until I'm, I wanted to use it. And so here I have a whole bunch of layers, and these layers were uh, cut using the Lawn Fawns uh, landscape, um, a stitch landscape die and the tree border die. And here I have a card made using the Femme frame. And um, the back panel is also cut using the Femme frame die. And I love the stitched um, detail that these give. And I'm going to um, emboss this um, back panel with using the Hero Arts uh, Tiny Stars background stamp. And, um, and I'm stamping it down. And I already ran the, um, put the embossing buddy on top of it so um, the embossing powder uh, won't go to places where I don't want it to and um, the stars don't need to be um, perfect because half of it is going to get covered and here I'm um, heating it up uh, and if I can I like to use this uh, clipboard with the foil on it because um, it heats it up faster because of the foil so there's less warping and I'm going to distress this using tumble glass peacock feathers and chip sapphire so um, I'm going in from the lightest to the darkest and I like this combination of colors. So I'm trying to create like a wintry scene. And here's a chip sapphire. Um, I wanted the top and the edges to be a lot darker. And you see some strokes um, toward the end, but that's okay. Because it's going to get covered up. So here I have another vellum that's cut using the same um, frame die. And I use this Stampin' Up um, grunge, Gorgeous Grunge. And I stamped it using the Encore Silver um, uh, ink pad. It's a, um, per, um, a, not a die, it's a pigment ink. And... So that'll give a little bit more detail. And here I'm um, kind of putting a little bit of colors on these snowbanks using um, iced spruce. And here um, I have the raccoon. It's super cute. And I'm going to be using my Shin Hun Touch alcohol markers to color him. And I'm using... Um, here 
uh, W7, W5, and W3. And I like to work from darkest to lightest. So I put my darkest first and then I'm blending it out with the medium and then I'm um, coloring the entire thing with the lightest. And at the top of his head, I'm putting some strokes to look like um, fur. This is a really um, easy image to color. And I really love him. He's super cute. I was debating whether I wanted to use him or the Yeti that comes in the stamp set, but I decided to use him instead. So I have a lot of things uh, pre-prepped um, on this card because this video was um, quite long. It was um, took me up about a um, little over an hour to make it. So for the tail, I use a little bit darker colors. I use W9, W7, and W5. And for his stomach, I'm using just C1 and C3. And same goes for over here. Because I'm going to be adding some googly eyes to him later. So here I'm kind of laying down how I want um, the layers to go. So I have these prepped right here and I'm going to show you how I color them using the Distress Inks and a finger dauber. And I'm using peeled paint and mowed lawn and walnut stain for the trees. So even if you don't have alcohol markers, you can also um, use this method to get some texture on your um, images. And I could have colored it using my alcohol markers, but I wanted these um, textures of different colors. So over here for this tree, I'm um, using, um, I believe it's pumice stone. And I'm going to add a little bit of brown using um, the vintage photo. I want it to look like a winter mountain. And I'm going to put some snow at the top. So that top color doesn't really matter because it's going to get covered up. The mountain stamp doesn't have a bottom, but I just kind of cut it straight across. So here I'm um, putting the googly eyes on the raccoon because I want it um, to have some time to dry. Super cute. I love googly eyes for these little critters. So here I'm... Um, I was going to put the snow at the top of the mountain, but I decided that I, w I was going to do it after the whole card was finished. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the white uh, liquid ap um, applique or the white dim dimensional uh, paint. So here I'm uh, attaching the vellum to the uh, back panel and um, it doesn't matter of the tape because you're not going to really see it. And I'm putting some glue right on the larger stars to glue uh, down the um, vellum a little more. And now I'm going to get started on um, attaching the hills along with the vellum uh, trees. I cut it with vellum uh, because I wanted like a snowy uh, background scene. 
and I think soon I will be turning the camera off because um, it was already like 40 minutes and so I come back with the finished card. So I'm attaching the uh, vellum to the coordinating um, hills that I cut. I want a little bit of vellum to show on each uh, section. So like so. So I have uh, three sections in total, but it's six pieces. Like that. And then I'm going to be putting some foam adhesive um, on the hills. And then I'm going to place um, each of the um, images where I want them. So the farthest hill, I just um, stick it down right onto the back panel, the, um, the starry panel, and the others I put a uh, foam adhesive on the top, and I put glue at the bottom. But so it gives dimension, but not too much dimension. So here I'm back. So um, I put some details um, on the card. Uh, so I put the snow there. I decided to just use the um, three dimensional um, paint. And I put some sequins. This is uh, the Sampin' Up uh, winter sequins. And um, I put some little um, details here and there on the trees and on the raccoon. So, and I put that um, sentiment, fanapulous. Um, and this completes my card for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.